Yeah, welcome to a new 15 minute game. He played e4, and um, I'll play the Sicilian for a change. And uh, knight f3, so what line? Okay, I'll, I'll try for, for the knight off. And uh, yeah, we actually get one, I think. So let's see what variation um, he's going for. Bishop g5. The yeah, the old main line and uh, the sharpest move. Yeah, here Black um, recently, in fact, um, experimented with quite a number of moves. Even the old move from um, Knight b to d7 gained some popularity. Okay, let's let's play this. I don't know um, the theory anyway. Um. Yeah, White's um, old choice. Yeah, I think, which even uh, was tested in a famous game. Spassky uh, versus Petrosian. Petrosian playing um, this line with black um, in the World Championship matches bishop c4. Spassky played bishop c4. I think um, something like um, taking on f6 and a quick long castle followed. Yeah, so bishop c4 is one move here and f4 is also a move, exactly. Um, what now? I think it is even possible to to play uh, Queen B six here. I, uh, it's it, it has been played. Okay, I try this attacking the B two pawn. It's um, similar, of course, to the poison pawn. It's just that I've played knight b to d7 instead of e6. So white's um, principal choice here would be to uh, play queen d2, obviously. Just uh, sacrificing the b2 pawn. Okay, so this is um, the conservative choice. <laughs> um, so what should I do now? In um, in the other position with e6, I think black just um, develops. Here I could I could think about h6 really. It's an idea. If he plays bishop h4, I can play <laughs> queen to e3, actually, winning a pawn, which might be risky, but uh, pawn is a pawn. Okay, let's try this. Um, if he takes on f6, I can recapture with a knight, and this is really a difference to the position with e6, where on h6, um, yeah, white could just capture. Okay, so he took really. Should I actually give the check now on e3? Is this um, is this a good idea, or is it simply simply bogus? I think he would play uh, bishop e2, and then knight f6. Hmm. Yeah, the queen is. Um, a bit of an annoying piece uh, on uh, on e3. Check. Okay, so I'll, I'll I'll play this check and see uh, what happens. Maybe he will even uh, chicken out with uh, queen e2. After which I would just have um, a good end uh, end game or let's say uh, middle game without queens with the two bishops. Okay, 
the only thing of course is uh, my development isn't isn't so great so what should I do now of course I would like to take with the knight on f6 but then e5 is um, maybe a bit of a problem e5 followed by knight d5 and my bad development really um, yeah really um, is a problem okay so let's take with the pawn it's not a big deal this uh, double pawn yeah okay now he threatens this this check obviously so I need to attend to this should I just play rook b8 yeah I guess so if he gives the check now I just have king d8 and next move I'll play e6 and kick the knight away okay so maybe he's got knight to e3 and then knight to c4 this um, actually could be an idea yeah well I need to get rid of this piece Yeah, knight e3. This seems better to me than uh, knight to c3. So maybe b5 now. Preventing this, yeah, I guess so. Need to prevent knight c4. And of course b5 also allows to play bishop b7, probably next move or in the very near future yeah at the moment uh, this position doesn't look so terrible for white but in the long run it can be uh, tricky to play uh, against the bishops so attack e4 and cover the c6 square um, actually how does he defend it bishop f3 I play knight to c5 maybe and um, isn't the pawn almost gone yeah maybe he can go f5 knight c5 f5 yeah this could could be in a could be a problem yeah it still is a pawn okay let's attack the e4 pawn Uh, maybe can go knight g4 I yeah? played this bit too quickly hmm knight g4 attacking f6 yeah and uh, preparing to um, to cover the pawn with rook e1 or knight f2 yeah knight g4 he needs to play Maybe, maybe on knight g4 I could consider h5, h5, and if he takes on f6, king uh, e7. Uh, but he's got e5. Yeah, this is uh, the problem. Hmm. Yeah. So where should I go to e7 or to um, to g7? Is g7 any kind of idea with f5 maybe coming? Mm, don't think so. I want to cover or keep um, d6 covered. Yeah, very quickly played. <coughs> yeah, still what what is happening here if I take take on e5 and play uh, f5 <coughs> oh, I'm sorry yeah
Yeah, and now should I go f5 or should I take uh, f5? I think it's, uh, it's more interesting. e5 could um, could really be a weakness here. Yeah, for sorry for the bottle noises. I need some water. Really, cannot play a half an hour game without um, at least uh, I don't know um, at least a big glass of water. So, what should he play now? The knight is hanging, and um, yeah, it doesn't have really. Um, Great, um, great squares. Yeah. The E five pawn is really the the pawn I'd like to attack, but what's happening on this um, long diagonal? Maybe knight c6 is also an option, which could uh, could irritate me. What moves are there? Um, <clears throat> one idea is to to play very directly, just bishop g5 check and um, then bishop somewhere to e3 or to f4. Yeah, this is indeed very, um, a very direct way. It's maybe not bad even. Check. Yeah, this looks like an active post for the bishop. So Bishop e3. Is this um, this an idea? Or Bishop f4 attacking attacking the pawn. Very um, directly played. Okay. If he plays a move like. Knight to c6. I think I can just play rook c8, and uh, not much is happening. I'm not sure I want to take it if he plays knight c6. I could, I could do it. It's not so bad. Yeah. Well, one point of this um, this um, bishop move is to. Yeah, actually, I wanted to say that he cannot play this because I just take h2. But um, is there some reason why I shouldn't take h2? Hmm, don't know. Knight e2, something like this. No, I have knight d7. Okay, let's take it. I think he just um, I don't know gave it away. Don't see the big the big point here. Maybe take uh, takes a knight f3, f5, bishop g3. I just threaten bishop g3 also with this this pin uh, coming. Yeah, well, it's, it's um, yeah, it's just a pawn. What can you do? Okay, if I take with um, the rook now, I must be careful about this knight c6. Knight c6 is, would just threaten mate in one with rook d8. Okay, still I need to take. What uh, what else is there? Maybe this bishop is somewhat um, of a liability. I don't know. Knight f3, 
but bishop g3 always this wins just the tempo and um if i get rid of this knight yeah i was just about to say that um if the knight on f2 moves at some point i have even knight e4 so i could play knight e4 now should i yeah this is just too tempting i need to Oh wait, uh, knight f3, but I have bishop g3, okay. Yeah, well I should, should just um, take this uh, this square here. The monster e4 square. And if he moves, uh, let's say, knight b4 now, attacking a6, I can just take e5. Yeah, this looks quite good now. My next move will probably be bishop g3 h4 to get this back it's not so so bad on h2 really because it attacks e5 but it's in constant danger of uh, getting trapped in some way so um i wouldn't mind to get this bishop to i don't know back to e7 or something i've uh, won the pawn already so unless i'm um Unless he tricks me or something with, with the maid or some other stupid trick. I'm just winning here with the extra pawn. And it's basically, it's not just an extra pawn. It's basically two against, it's four against two here. And um, his majority is, um, is just um, not moving. Okay, so maybe rook d7 could be a good move here setting up a pin on the knight and activating the rook here yeah, like this cannot play knight b4 now yeah this is um, quite a nasty pin uh -huh. is there some uh, this looks this looks um, i don't know <laughs> looks shaky in a way as if um, I have some kind of trick here well maybe I don't but um, it uh, still looks shaky hmm yeah some um, Maybe a good move. I don't want to exchange really. This is such a strong piece. Yeah, I could play rook d4. Still, um, Yeah, still keeping the the knight on e4. If he plays, let's say knight b3, I'll drop back to d5 and have improved the rook position slightly. He takes on e4. I just take with the pawn. I should win material. <clears throat> takes on e4, f e knight f2. I can take f2, and the bishop is covering the rook, so I win a bishop. He cannot take, and well, he cannot move. Um, <clears throat> sorry, much uh, here anyway. If he lets me, I'd like to play king e7 and rook h to d1, increasing uh, the pressure even more. Yeah, he doesn't have many moves really. I mean, meaningful moves. I'm not sure what uh, what you should do. Yeah, don't see a move really. 
which um, I mean, which really improves White's position. He can play stuff like knight b3, knight f1. Yeah, this move. I also thought about this, but this still doesn't threaten to take. And um, maybe I've got. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I even have bishop. Bishop h4. Yeah, bishop h4 looks good. Intending bishop to g5. Getting him into this pin. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe he can can take the on f4 and play knight f4. Hmm. Yeah, it's not especially great for <clears throat> for white. Knight f4 takes on d1. Mm -hmm. He's still not uh, threatening much. Play king e7. Uh, let's play king e7. Intending rook d8. Yeah, still I don't see a meaningful move. If he moves the d3 knight in a way, then bishop f4 wins. If he takes on e4, I take with the pawn, and this should should really be um, good also. Okay, but this... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe now, now the bishop to... Yeah, now I should try to get the bishop to g5. This looks really nice. If he plays knight f3, looking like a fork, then he can play bishop g5 anyway. If he takes e4, pawn takes. Yeah, bishop g5 now. And now this rook is in a pin, and he, he needs to take on g5. Yeah, and now I've got a dream position here. I just transferred this really black bad pawn on h6 to g5. And now everything's uh, working together nicely. Um, yeah, where should I go with the rook? There's some great idea. Just to d5, maybe. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. It's, yeah, that's ah, still okay. Night before, I was a bit irritated about night before, but really, I don't care much about the queen side. If I'm able to, let's say, play rook h2, g2, win this pawn, then f and g pawn just win the game. I don't, I don't really care much about uh, him taking any pawn here on the queen side. Um, is there something specially great? Don't know. Okay, yeah. let's grab here first. And um, yeah, then simply the check or on h1 or to h2. There's a multitude of uh, ideas. I also have the the very. What is he thinking about? <laughs> I have the the very simple move on knight to c5, which is which which is also very good, really. Just uh, covering a6, and he's got zero play after that. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Should I still give this check first? Yeah. Check. Let's check first. If he goes king e2, I can also play rook b1 and just pick up um, the b pawn or force him back to a passive move like knight d3. But still, knight c5 is also really good covering a6 and maybe simply intending to play stuff like f6 and um, then push the pawns. 
this is um, worth much more than than and then a simple extra pawn. It's um, strategically um, really a terrible position for white. So um, let's just uh, cover a six now. Play it simple. And the next move um, might simply be f6. But uh, I need to be a bit cautious with knight c6. Those sh checks might be um, irritating. Check. Okay, give this check immediately. So, just here. Yeah, he doesn't have a good square. Or at least, well, a square where, it, uh, where he's doing something. Knight d4, maybe. But still, he's not attacking anything. So, um, how to um, improve now? He might play b4, okay, but I have knight e4 all the time. So maybe I should um, first draw the rook back to e2. I think he needs to play e2, uh, to e2 now. g2 is just lost otherwise. Oops. I thought um I thought just knight e4 would win now. Alright, okay, we can play knight e2, huh? some terribly passive move. So um what now? Should I? Can I maybe even advance with the king to d5? Just um, pick up, pick up the pawn. Wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be too bad. Or just um, play for f6. Okay, I try to to grab the pawn. Ah, he wants to wants to go with uh, c four. Okay. Yeah, but still, I can grab it, right? I can just take e five. Can I? How does he defend it? Don't don't see how. Place check. Yeah. check check. Yeah, this is checkmate. Checkmate. This was another neat little trick. He couldn't move the knight because of the mate. Yeah. Yeah, I think this this whole kind of. Uh, Play here with uh, Check. allowing Check. the queen exchange just leads to um, a quite quite fine position for black. And um, at some point he, I re I don't think e5 is good really. White should uh, maybe just cover e4 with rook e1 or knight f2, and then uh, it's just a game. The two bishops are some um, some point where black can put his hopes on, but it's uh, not like um, completely easy to, to win or make um, decent progress. White should just um, keep the pawns on e4 and, um, and f4. f5 is um, simply, f5 is, um, is an idea, more, more like, um, it's more um, of an idea than e5 really. f5 putting pressure on e6, trying to provoke black to play e5 
But I think this, I don't know, maybe it, it's it's tactically um, still fine, but um, but he needs to play in, in some other way um, than, than in the game. Check. I think this just just is, um, is nice for, for me. He could defend better, of course, this just this blunders his pawn, but in general, um, he opened up the position for my bishops and e5 is a weakness. So, um, if he just stays put here with, um, don't know, rookie one, there's not much happening. Yeah, thanks for watching.